got a question for CP. Okay. Your first question was, how do you like being in Dallas? Uh, I love it so far. You know, I'm just, the whole process of getting settled in, it's obviously new to me. I feel like a new kid at school uh, a little bit, but everybody's been great. The whole organization has made me feel welcome and at home. Uh, teammates have been great. We've really been competing all summer long. Uh, so I'm excited. This is where I want to be. Uh, and I look forward to opening up tomorrow. And you know, We've developed this chemistry for the past month. Uh, nothing's going to be new for us tomorrow. There was a few familiar faces when we uh, first got here, but now everyone knows each other. So it's been a, it's been a good process so far, and we look forward to get started. Chandler, you talked about kind of stepping out of that Martin Howard shadow in Houston and becoming more of a leading guy. How does that work when you've still got a couple of leading personalities here in Dirk and Tyson? Uh, well, I've always been a team guy. I'm not uh, trying to come here and get mine and you know, be the go-to guy necessarily. I'm going to do whatever it takes for our, our team to win as many games as possible. Uh, you know, I'm coming here looking at the options. I love the core that they had. You know, Dirk is one of the greatest to ever play. Monte can really score the ball. And then adding Tyson, who's one of the best defensive centers in the league, can really finish. So I thought with that core, uh, you know, me being 25 years old, I could come and I could really help them out. I can make my teammates better. Uh, just continue to be one of the more versatile players in the league. Now that you guys have been around each other a little bit, how do you see you fitting into that? How do you see it in terms of kind of your outlook and what kind of year you're going to have? Uh, well, I, you know, I think I'm going to have a big year. I think our team is going to have a bigger year. So whatever uh, I can do to help, whatever Coach Carlisle needs me to do, uh, I plan on you know, guarding one through four, being a versatile player, making my teammates better, uh, you know, passing the ball, creating for others, just making the game come easier for them. And uh, I've worked on getting a lot stronger this summer for uh, when dirt comes out, I can move to the four and play a little power forward. So just working on all aspects of my game, and I don't want there to be one thing that I can't do out there. So just continue to do that every every single day. What are what are the challenges? I mean, obviously the strength is one thing, and moving to that power forward spot. I mean, how comfortable are you there? What else do you need to tweak in terms of your approach and, and how you fit in on the floor when you're playing the four? Uh, well, I just think strength was the biggest for me. You know, when I got matched up against the Blake Griffins and the Kevin Loves and the Dirks, uh, which sucked, by the way, guarding him. <laughs> uh, that was the toughest point for me. So offensively, it's just as hard for them to guard me when I take it out and pick and pop and do things like that. But I want to be able to guard them in the post and not have to front and do things like that. So I think the added strength will definitely help. Uh, just knowing all the different play calls at different positions is obviously key. Um, and just defensively, when I'm at the four, if we decide to switch one through four, know the coverages on pick and roll and different things like that, which I pick up pretty easy. Have you thought about things that you'll be able to pick up from Dirk, you know, as an offensive player? Maybe not the one-legged fadeaway, but... That's, that's, exactly. that's the first thing I thought about. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the first day uh, when he was out on the court, I was I was just curious. I was like, like how do you do it? Because he's one of those guys where you guard him, and I play the best possible defense I can, and, and he still hits the shot. And it just, it's just a, you know, a combination of his length and his size. Um, but, you know, that one leg fadeaway, it's pretty impossible to even learn, let alone guard. But are there little nuances you think you can pick up from him other ways? Uh, yeah, you know, just, just watching him shoot. Uh, sometimes my shot is really flat and my legs get tired. Uh, he really emphasizes getting the ball in the air. This summer he worked on a quicker release. Um, and just the way he plays, he's so smart. And obviously, he's not the fastest, strongest guy in the, in the league. But some, somehow, some way, he finds it done being crafty, being sneaky. Uh, and those are little things that I'll pick up on. Tyson said he was a little surprised working out with you, your versatility. Do you feel like around the league, people kind of, they don't know your game, all your all-around game, playing next to two stars in Houston? Uh, yeah. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to play with two superstars in Houston to where I learned from those guys, too. But a lot of times, you know, Rockets win, Rockets lose. It was all on James and Dwight. Uh, when I'd have a big game, you know, they'd talk about me. But uh, I'm ready for that next step of my career. I'm ready to come here and, and uh, you know, have a bigger role, be more of a leader. Uh, and that's why I came here. And I think I can do that. I think I'm ready for that. I've worked extremely hard this summer. Uh, so, you know, if they haven't seen me, they will this year. Are you looking forward to playing against you? Do you feel like you have something to 
approved? Uh, well, I think we play them like a week, so it's coming up quick. Uh, it's funny how they scheduled that. Uh, but no, I, I have no hard feelings. It ended a little ugly uh, media-wise, but I've talked to all those guys, and I have respect for those guys. And it was home for three years, and I really enjoyed playing there. I really enjoyed playing for Coach McHale. Uh, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't weird when I when I go back there and play. And I hope there's no hard feelings. I'm sure, there will be, uh, but that's just another game to me. Uh, and I'm worried about the. I'm focused on the big picture, not just the you know the Rockets game. It's, it just happens four times. You got the party with Mark Cuban. What was that like? Got the what? You got the party with Mark Cuban. What was that like? <sighs> Uh, from what I remember, <laughs> uh, no, nah, he's awesome. Uh, he's such a genuine, nice guy, and he's so involved with the team, which is new for me. Uh, you know, I talk to him all the time. I talk to him just as much as I talk to Dirk or Rick or everybody. So he's so involved and he's so passionate. And just having an owner, I think he's the best in sports. Uh, just always trying to put pieces together to be a championship team. Uh, and that you know gives players confidence, uh, makes you feel comfortable uh, with being here, and makes you want to be here. So uh, you know I look forward to, to, to getting out there and playing for him. And when you have an opportunity to play for another like that, you don't pass it up. Cuban and Daryl Morey have gone back and forth, and now Morey's come back to Cuban and said, if the, free, if the money's the same, any free agent's going to take Houston over the house. What's your reaction to that? Morey said that. Morey said that. Um, I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Uh, I can, you know, I can say Houston was a great city to live in for three years, and that the fans were great. I have nothing but love for them. They were the ones that gave me a chance and drafted me. Uh, you know, that being said, I've been in Dallas for a month, and I'm in love. You know, it's it's an unbelievable city. I'll tell you right now, the weather is way better here. Uh, it's not as muggy and humid. Uh, and every time I came here and played at American Airlines, the crowd was unbelievable. Uh, so everyone's entitled to their opinion. That being a rival team and everything that happened this summer, I'm sure they're going to go back and forth, but I'll probably stay out of that. Uh, but all I can say is I love Dallas, and uh, I'm really enjoying myself here. You won't stay out of that if we got to do it. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> depends on what Mark's comeback is, I guess. <laughs> how, how does the buzz and anticipation this year compare to last? I can't imagine it would compare to what you had last year with Black Knight and everything, but there is sort of the people around here are excited because Tyson's back and that kind of stuff. What have you seen on that? Yeah, no, it's definitely, I can feel the energy and the excitement. Um, and obviously last year bringing in Dwight, the, the whole city of Houston with the whole pep rally and parade, it was, it was bananas. So this year I think it's just a fresh new team. We have so many new players and new faces that uh, hopefully the people in Dallas are excited. And we have a chance to be really, really good. We have a lot of veteran guys that have been through it that are very experienced. Uh, you know, we have no egos. We have no bad guys in there. Um, just being here for that month, you can just tell everyone's here for the same reasons. Everybody's working extremely hard. Uh, there's no hidden agendas. Uh, it's all out there for us. And uh, I think the chemistry we've developed all summer long will help us. And uh, you know, I, I hope that the fans in Dallas are excited because we have a chance to, to be really, really good. Your playoff run ended against Portland, but now do you feel like you got the tools now that could go up against the Oklahoma City or a Clippers team? As well? Yeah, unfortunately, I've been you know knocked out first round twice now. Um, and you know, playoff basketball is the most fun time I've ever played basketball. And that's the most exciting part of the year. And, uh, you know, words can't really explain the energy and uh, the, the emotions that you have during that. But I definitely. Uh, have that entire Portland series that uh, in the back of my head, and I think I've grown uh, on and off the court. Uh, I've gotten better since then, and I definitely will use you know, those experiences um, for this year when we're in the playoffs. They've got a couple guys who've been 20 point scorers in the league here, and Dirk Monte, obviously. How do you envision you fitting here offensively and, and maybe enhancing what they're doing? Uh, yeah, well, I think uh, you know, I'm going to make the job easier for them, too. I think having a wing like Monte on the other side uh, is, is going to help us both out. It's going to relieve pressure from both of us. We'll both be able to create, and we're both going to score the ball and score a lot of points. But uh, I think we have multiple options. We can, we can hurt you inside with Dirk. Me and Monte can score out in transition. You know, pick and roll is going to be hard to stop with us, and we have so many versatile guys off the bench. 
to, to give you different looks. Um, but, you know, offensively, the system here is perfect for a guy like me with the up and down system, a lot of pick and roll, a lot of free flow on offense. You know, if I get a defensive rebound, I get to push it. Um, I can play pick and roll very well. So, uh, you know, I think the offense is perfect for me here. Uh, and I think uh, I'll really enjoy playing with the guys that are, that are going to be on the floor with me. So I think it'll be good. A couple more guys. What you gave him the experience playing with the United States national team this summer? Uh, that was unbelievable. That was, uh, you know, putting that USA jersey on is one of the greatest experiences I'll, I'll ever have. Uh, and that's something that I really wanted. That's something that, uh, you know, I'm still frustrated to this day that I didn't make the team. But uh, that was an awesome experience playing with those elite players, learning from those great coaches. Uh, was special to me. And like I said, that was something I really wanted. Uh, that I'll use as motivation going forward. That's something I want in the future as well. How can Rick Carlisle make you a better player? Uh, well, he's persistent, man. He's he's all over me. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, you know, when I was training in LA this summer, he would come out to LA. Uh, when I'm here, he's here. He'll just send me up a, a picture of him in the locker room at like seven o'clock at night. I was, where are you, man? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's unique. And he's different, um, but he's such a perfectionist, and he's helped me this summer, which is different things on my jump shot, shooting the same shot at the same time, different, a little, uh, you know, messing with my form a little bit. Uh, but he, he's a great coach. He's one of the better coaches in the league, and uh, he was another big reason why I, I signed here, just to get a chance to play for him. Uh, and he's definitely helped me throughout my game. And even off the court, we've had a lot of meetings uh, in his office just about how to handle everything, um, you know, how to be a professional, and you know, he's helping not only on the court but off the court.